Hey guys, so I'm going to teach you how to get loops up and running with the click track rig that we just created in the last video. So let's dive right into it. I'm going to start by adding a new song. We're going to use loops for Called Me Higher. So I'm going to add a new patch and call it Called Me Higher. And same has tempo. I know that this is 4-4 and it is 86 beats per minute. So, now we have it set up just like any other song that we created click for. What we're going to do next is we're going to go up here to add a new channel strip, which is where we're going to add our loops. And we're going to just add one channel strip and an instrument channel strip. It can have it doesn't need to have any MIDI input. And the output is going to go to bus 2. So we'll create what we're going to do next is come here to the settings button, click that. We're going to go to user channel strip settings, click and playback, and select the playback setting. Now what that's going to do is upload some playback uh, plugin for us. And what we can do is click on this playback plugin um, when we want to and add tracks to it, which is great. For this particular one, I know that there are multiple tracks. so. Uh, I think four independent tracks. So we're going to copy and paste this channel strip three times. Now we have three pay playback tracks. So we'll go ahead and click the playback and add a file. Now most of the time it'll be in music and the computer at the church is not nearly as full as mine. But main stage, then click track and then let's go to called me higher and we're going to do it in D flat which is the original key so I usually start out with what's most dominant in the track up front which would be our loop which is like kicks and claps that goes kind of through the whole song so I'll click on it and it'll load it in here sometimes if it's a new track it's going to take a lot longer to load but since we've loaded this one up before it's feeling good go ahead and click this settings button here and make sure that start with play action is clicked if it is, don't click it again, just click off of the screen. Close this down, and then rename your track, which I'll name mine Loop. Now we'll go on to the next one. And same thing again, click the playback, file, and it'll open up the file that you were just last in, which is great for us. I'm going to do the tremolo strings, make sure that it is clicked, so that's great. I'll probably rename this one strings one. Why not? We're gonna move on to the next two. So file legato. Make sure this is enabled, which it should be. As long as you've copied and pasted it from another channel strip, it always should be the same as the last one, but it never hurts to double check. Call it strings two. We'll hit the playback for the last one and hit bells. Now for a lot of songs, we only have one track, not a bunch of them. This one I mixed down multiple ones so we could mix it more live. But usually we just have one track that we'd be playing to. So that's kind of nice because you won't have to do any mixing or anything like that. Uh, we'll rename this bells. But for this particular one, I know that the loop is pretty loud, so I'm going to keep it down here at like negative 4, negative 5. I think the strings are pretty loud too, so let's bring them down a little bit. And I know the bell is really loud. So, if all of that is done and your click track has already been enabled up here, you should be able to click play and it should start playing the loop after four counts. So there's our loop. You can hear those strings are pretty loud, so I'd bring them down a little bit more. Just kind of listen through the song. The bell is one of those ones that it's going to come up just very sparingly, so you need to make sure you wait and see how loud it is. But yeah, that's how you upload click and loops and all sorts of stuff. Now your loop bus should be panned over to the right side, so that when you use the headphone out, click track is going to go out the left side. And you can plug that into a DI, and then the loop will go out the right side, and you can plug that into a different DI. So that the sound guy can mix the loop without hearing the click track, which would sound, if we, dis if we disable the metronome, sound kind of like this. Which my 
speakers on my computer are not doing it justice. Anyways, I hope that's helpful for you guys. And, uh, yeah.